Hi folks, thanks for high on Android.com, where we get here on Android every day. Now there's a new cool app called the Hovering Controls app um, that you can install on any Android device that give you similar features to the Galaxy S4. Um, you know, you can swipe to answer calls, um, you can swipe to uh, unlock your phone, and more stuff. Uh, but let me give you a quick demo of this, uh, so let's go do this baby. Ugh. Hi folks, so let me go ahead and show you the ho Hovering Controls app. This thing is pretty cool. It actually uses the proximity sensor on your phone. Um, most phones have proximity sensor um, and do locate where your proximity sensor is there. And uh, you can see that it opened my camera. Um, you can choose different modes. So hovering hold, if I hold it on my proximity sensor, it's gonna open up uh, my Facebook there. And let me go ahead and show you, um, you can also do slide once and set uh, different apps. Um, I've got it set to my camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide once, and that will open up my camera. So that's nice, and it's all, also there is some extra options. Um, you could, if you have root, uh, rooted phone, then you can actually uh, swipe in your gallery. Um, swipe once, all right? And also you can swipe this way too, that's called swipe once. There we go, swipe once. There we go. And if you want to go backwards, swipe twice, which is going over the sensor and going back. And there we go. You'll have to do it kind of quick. There we go. Once you get the hang of it, it actually works really well. I was able to do it uh, inside my bathroom completely dark because it uses proximity sensor. It actually works in the dark. Um, so as you can see, it works really well. And also it does work with the browser too. If you swipe once, it will uh, go down. If you swipe twice, uh, it will go back up. So I'm going back up, going down, uh, going down. And let me go ahead and show you some of the options that you can do here. Um, so you can also do swipe twice uh, to open up any apps you want. Um, so I've got it opening up my Chrome. Uh, that is very, very nice. And uh, also, if you go to uh, advanced settings here, menu settings, um, this is where you will be able to uh, enable some stuff like auto answer, which I'll show you in a second. Um, silence incoming call with slide uh, once and also you can unlock phone with two slides when your screen is off um, you can also do this and unlock your phone how cool is that right and also browser navigation here um, make sure to enable this if you want to um, be able to use your browser and also the gallery slider there uh, so let me go ahead and show you one more thing the auto answer which is really nice uh, when you get a call just put it on your your head and you'll be able to answer your calls. So I'm gonna go ahead and call myself with uh, one of my phones here to my Verizon Galaxy S4. And let me go ahead and turn this on. There we go. And I'm simply going to um, take my phone and put it there and this will answer the call. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now? So it did work there. Um, so awesome stuff. Let me go ahead and show you how to install this. Um, you can actually go to the Play Store and it's like 150 uh, but if you don't want to buy it yet and you want to try it out first, go, go ahead and download uh, the APK file from the XDA thread uh, and then go ahead and use um, File Explorer app like ES File Explorer. Uh, once you download it to your phone, uh, simply go ahead and click on the APK file and install. You might have to uh, check unknown sources on I already got it installed, so that's why it's asking me. But go ahead and install it, and you will have hovering controls. And thanks, you guys, for watching this video. If this video has helped you add magical hovering features to your Android device, uh, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, as always, uh, stay on Android.